Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, and happy Memorial Day to each and every one of you all. Enjoy yourself, be safe, and don't overeat, okay? I know you're going to want to, because that's how most black folks are, you know. I don't know about the other race. I can only speak for my own self. We like to eat till we can't eat no more. We go to sleep. We take, you know, a long nap, and wake up and get that second plate. That's for all holidays, okay? Or maybe I should just be talking about myself. <laughs> But uh, as you can see in this photo, Portia is listening uh, to some of uh, Davido uh, music. It seems like she's becoming a tad bit obsessed, but I might be reaching. I might be reaching on that one. I just found it to be, you know, like, okay, why are you always listening to this man music? Okay, girl, and then posting it. So, you know how you are, Portia. You know how you are. You're slipping somebody's DMs in a minute and all hell break loose. But I'm not here for that today. I am here for only pleasantries. I love it. I love it. I love it. Again, that these two cousins have come together and formed a very perfect union for them to grow together and be best buddies, okay? Because uh, Portia just don't get enough of letting PJ play with Bailey. At least it's not being... <coughs> shown on social media so i'm glad 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 they are back in the saddle and they're hanging out with one another i mean they're cousins that's what they're supposed to do first cousins at that am i right guys okay get me straight if i'm wrong <coughs> but i did hear from one of my family members that um portia and lauren her sister were having issues they weren't speaking to each other is that right portia why why weren't y'all speaking to one another what did you do this time, Portia? What did you do? And the only reason I'm saying you because you like to start shit. Lauren's more of the peacekeeper. She's more of like trying to trying to get you not to make failures or bad choices and stuff. And then you get mad at her like she know it all and this, that, and the third. But, I mean, come on now, Portia. Y'all are totally different in y'all personalities. Um, everybody can be a fool for love. You know what I'm saying? But. And you just take the cake. You just take the cake. And maybe she's just trying to watch out for her big sister. Could it be that, Portia? Could it be that? You can, you can put down in the comments. Get on in my comments, Portia. Show me some love, girl, and tell me what's going on. So we can try to help you out. Because we got a lot of intelligent folks over here in my family of YouTube. Okay? Both men and women. And if you're having a dilemma, we can help you uh, get back on seeing it from a, a positive perspective. Or if you need to let it go, let it go. Uh... It, is Lauren coming to the fact that she don't want you to be with Simon, girl? Is Lauren telling you she don't want you to be with Simon and you just had to uh, banish her for a little while? And then you found out that you really did miss her company, her friendship, and just her essence. And you had to go back crawling with your tail between your legs. Is that what happened, Portia? Is that what happened? But okay, we're going to go bo mostly talking about... Uh, and I like that hair on you, girl. You look like your edges are growing back. It look like your edges are growing back. Or is that the hair? Is that the hair giving us that look, girl? I don't know. But it's a beautiful picture. And you're not a, a, a bad-looking woman. So don't ever think that I felt that way. Because, yes, you are that and then some. Okay? But we just don't like how you try to use it to make your money. You know? Because it's more looking like a prostitute than a go-getter and an entrepreneur. Okay? Because you're not into sex toys or anything of that nature. So we kind of need you not to portray yourself like that. And with your glorified boyfriend. Let him spend more of his money. Let him spend more of his time. And let him use his talents or what he does for a living. We need to know. Okay. That's a you know, very, very big part of you rebranding yourself. So, uh, yes. I, and where did PJ get all that winking from? Who told, her, who told her how to wink with her cute little self trying to put her hands on her hip and let her backbone slip? What? What? 
<laughs> okay, loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, did y'all pay attention to the climbers' rules, or did y'all let the church just go half? I mean, it looked like Bailey could handle herself, but I don't know about PJ. She looking a little, a little unsteady, a little unsteady right there. But maybe that's really good plush stuff, and she can um try to navigate her ways of getting up across that jumbo gym or whatever it's called. But I see her playing with the two-two trains. Yes. Getting her uh self together. Seems like she's a little scared, a little terrified. What's going on there, boy? She, what's going on there? Now? She looks like she see the Terminator or something. All right. Or did Simon show up? <laughs> she's like, what are you doing here? So this is supposed to be mother and daughter time. Okay. With my cousin. But uh yes, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love to see Portia out doing these type of activities, showing and proving that she is a good mom and we should just get off her ass. But no, we're not going to get off your ass until we constantly see shit like this. Okay, we need to constantly see it as part of rebranding, as part of letting the people know that you're hearing us and that you should put down that brown liquor and, and live life, put some Sprite up in there. Or some period water, whatever. Okay, you don't have to be drinking all the time, every day, all day. You know what I'm saying? We don't like that shit. Let Simon do it. Let him mess up his organs and shit like that. Even though he's trying to show us he's uh, exercising. But, you know, it is what it is. When you get caught into something and you just can't uh, break free of it, you know, I don't know what would make you do it. But we just have to let you have your own. And do your own. But... That's what we need to see. More PJ, less of your relationship, okay? More of family time with PJ and uh, n uh, very little time where you're showing us with all the time because he's just an embarrassment for men trying to date successful women, okay? Uh, I don't know when you're supposed to be getting married. I hear again, like I said, in September is when you're supposed to um, be Mrs. Gabadia, but... You know, it is what it is. Um, I, I don't feel comfortable with you marrying somebody you really don't know nothing about. You don't know how he gets his money, where he gets his money, how he puts work in for the money. You know what I'm saying? Because if that was, you know, the case, you know, you could be like Todd. We don't see Todd with no office stuff in it, you know, doing none of that anyway. But we see him traveling with Candy and she is making business boss moves and we see her there. So we we just kind of gather and guess that um he's her assistant you know pretty much he, he's there to assist her in any way possible at things she don't understand that he may comprehend a little bit better you know he's there doing it instead of him making a, a chain of uh daily day daycares and showing and improving and and take that for, to fruition because you know or a damn go work on that apartment he tried to show us which is a hot mess how long have that apartment been there probably the same time you and candy been married to 10 plus years and that's piss poor of doing of being with somebody's money and doing the wrong thing why would you even have that place like that it's like that shit need to be gutted out and redecorated over i'm with kenya more hire her as your contractor honey she said a hundred thousand would be good that she can decorate and uh, get the people she need and then she have a little chump change left for herself okay because she can't do that she can't do anything free we ain't no freebie thing out there but um yeah uh we know you like spending her money and and uh messing up yours and then you got to come to her to get some more because you don't fucked up your money that you actually made from doing some type of work todd but uh, like I said, it was a great landscape, not landscaping, it was a very good view of uh, New York. Uh, I loved it. But just looking at the dwellings, uh -uh. I, if, if I was your girlfriend that left you too, or y however y'all broke up, I wouldn't pay for that shit either. Because it's was, it was, it was hot, piss poor. I ain't like the, the spiral. That spiral of staircases played out. I don't even know why they even put that in there. But, again, it's something that I shouldn't really be worried about because I don't care about it either way. I don't care about it. But, uh, yeah. Portia, you're doing a good job. I like to see optics when I look on your Instagram account and I'll see you partying and, you know, doing stupid ass shit at your age of 40, 41, however you are. So, that, that is a good refresher. And um, kudos to you about that and like i said i don't know what you and lauren were fussing about but you if you really love her you really care for her y'all should never break up but y'all don't speak okay that's no no that's you know that's something you shouldn't do because things happen out there every day and she was snuffed out or her life was snuffed out and you were still mad at her about some silly shit you know what i'm saying that y'all could have actually just talked about and agree to disagree but still move on 
that would have been bad for you, Portia. It would have been really, really bad. So, uh, cherish your family members. Cherish your loved ones that you really like talking to and checking on them sometimes. See how they're doing, you know. Uh, if, if, if they, I'm not Bailey, but uh, if Lauren needed you or something, you should be there. Because she's always been there from you, from what you have told us. Um, so, and if she's telling you something that you don't want to hear about Simon, you really need to listen. Even if you don't make a sound, you don't clap back at her. Listen with an attentive ear to what she's saying. And then show and prove, is it any validity in what she's trying to tell you? Okay? Or I may be totally off key and maybe y'all just got mad because when uh, you were supposed to pick up the check at dinner and you didn't. It could be some silly shit like that. Okay, but I love to see the sisterhood that you are building and trying to maintain and I love to see the cousin cousins getting together having fun and just being children, you know what I'm saying? Now we know Lauren is a good mother. She's always tried to be there for her child. Uh, she's very attentive. I don't too much like that fake hair, but uh, you know if you're gonna do it, do it. You know, and I just have to be putting up with the shit because I'm like the girl's hair will grow if you you know just make sure it's very moisturized, uh, not dripping like um, what's that thing uh, California curl thing was going on. Y'all remember? Y'all remember that? Uh, yeah. But that's all I got for this video, guys. It was just picture perfect. I loved it. This is something Portia should take in stride and continue to do on a daily basis. And when she's out there in them clubs, drinking, partying, oh, let that just be for you. You don't have to broadcast that stuff. Because it's not good for your brand. It's not good for investors looking on your Instagram account and seeing you acting uh, and portraying yourself like a hoe or, or a drunk or something to that nature or a real party girl that they don't want to have you a part of their brand. You see what I'm saying, Portia? Branding is everything. What people look at and see, they really think that may be you. But that could have just been you in that moment in a second. But do you think they're going to waste their time, their attention, and try to figure out or think a little harder about the situation that you put yourself into? So... Put more stuff like this on your social media, especially when you're using your social media as a platform to make money, you know, have your revenue streams up because we don't want to see you popping your booty, clapping your booty, partying and drinking and smoking hookah and all this. We don't want to see that shit. I don't. I want to see positive black women doing stuff, you know, and being able to congratulate them when they do uh, have great milestones that they've reached. Okay, but, you know, I can't come in and do constructive, constructive criticism as well. I'd rather do the other one more so than the constructive criticism because uh, I think it benefits you. And, you know, we all, we all are learning. We all make mistakes, but we don't keep making the same mistake over and over again. Think you're going to get a different result. Okay? So, you know better, do better. That's the statement for today. If you know better, do better. Okay? And no excuses. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Hopefully, y'all like it, love it. And I will be taping more. Okay? They might won't come out today. This might be my last video I'm going to put out. Uh, I just didn't want to leave y'all nothing to laugh about. I mean, I, I need to get y'all laughter each and every day. Because sometimes life just beat the hell out you sometimes. You don't know if you're coming or going. But if you have someone or something that you can look at and smile and laugh, that's that's a true blessing right there. Because I'm telling you, laughter is good for the soul. It feeds the soul when you can't say or do nothing but laugh, okay? And that's my gift to each and every one of you all that come over to the house. And y'all have solidified yourselves as family members with me. And the ones that are still on the fence, not really sure which way they want to go. You know, hey, you can always try me. If you don't like me, you can always hang me back up. <laughs> but I will see y'all next video, guys. And y'all definitely enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. I hope you have. Because, yes, we're going to be crying probably about six or seven times we got to go to work. <laughs> Where did the time go? You know, that's what I do pretty much. But I love my job. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. But when don't nobody want to go outside. They want to get in that car. They don't want to travel. <laughs> they want to travel to their job. And then be like, oh, Lord. You be looking for Friday again. But think about it now. It's a four-day week.
So we still got it good. We ain't got to work Friday. We got to work four days. So that's still really, really good, y'all. But y'all be blessed and y'all have a great summer. If I don't wish y'all that as we go along. Uh, make sure you be with your families. Make sure you're protecting yourselves with wearing your mask. Or definitely keeping it in your pocket. If you see somebody been to sneeze, they start sneezing, call, put that shit on, okay? Because those droplets just, they spread like wildfire, all right? And we want to keep y'all safe, happy, and positive, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.